Hello everyone, my name is Shamavi and welcome back to my channel Fun with Data Science. So basically, today our discussion ka topic is that we have studied the topics padhe hai, including keywords and identifiers, types of error, and our first topic tha types of operators. So we have seen three lectures iske dekhe, aur teen practicals. Dekhe. तो आज उन सब को समराइज करके मैंने एक प्रोग्राम बनाया है जिसमें कि हम लोग देखेंगे कि पाइथन बेसिक कैलकुलेटर कैसे बनाते हैं सो so, इसमें मैंने क्या-क्या चीजें इंक्लूड करी हैं वो हैं कि कल हम लोगों ने प्रीवियस लेक्चर में पार्ट 3 में देखा था कि कीवर्ड्स एंड आइडेंटिफायर्स क्या होते हैं और लेक्चर 1 में हमने देखा था कि टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटर्स क्या है सो so, उन सब का कॉम्बिनेशन करके ये एक प्रोग्राम है बेसिक कैलकुलेटर यूजिंग पाइथन तो आज हम लोग इसको देखेंगे कि कैसे बनाते हैं और फिर इसका आउटपुट देखेंगे। So let's get started for that. So basically, let's start now. First, what I had did that I had taken a keyword, a def 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 is a keyword, and uh, this is basically used to define a function. So now after that def addition num one comma num two. What I did in the first line is that I had taken a um, keyword def which is used to define a function i after that i had given a name addition to a uh, name of a function as addition and then i have passed there two variables that is num1 and num2 after that i put the semicolon and what i did that i return num1 plus num2 so basically uh, when our addition uh, function would be called it would re return num1 plus num2 same as for the subtraction, I had used a function subtraction and passed the uh, values at, as num1, num2 and then I had written num1 minus num2. Then for multiplication, num1, num2 and num1 multiplied by num2 followed by the division. Now, let's take out that what is this as I had told in my first video that uh, how to print something used in Python. So basically what we are printing here is that print, please select operation. So you need to select what operation you are going to choose and what operation you want that your this program should perform. So this is please select operation and after that we have used backslash n. So basically backslash n is used for uh, for changing a new line. So uh, when we will use backslash n here, so after the addition, the subtraction would come in the next line. So this is basically tells that uh, you need to uh, write this in the next line. So we have given please select operation addition one, uh, second is subtraction, third is multiplication, fourth is, fourth is division. As I told you already that whatever the strings are there inside the print operation, print uh, function, all that should be used in the uh, upper, uh, in the semi uh, colon, semi commas. Excuse me. After that, uh, we had an operate. We had I had given a variable as choice, and now what I had did in this line is that. I had asked for the input from the user. So basically, this is the new one thing which we are going to learn in today's practical that uh, how to give a, how to take an input from a user. So let me write how to take a um, input from a user. So basically, uh, for taking an input. We need to write int. Int means that uh, what type of uh, operation you want to take. After that, we need to write input here. What does input does that? It tells basically when I'm clicking on input, it is telling that read a string from in standard input. So basically, what is what it does is that it asks the user to select any operation. So this is a method in Python that how we can take the values from the user as for the input from the user after that i had initialized two identifiers remember that identifier i have already told that these are the variables which uh, we give to our numbers or something whatever we want so basically numbers underscore one and number underscore two so i hope that you have already watched my video on the rules for identifiers if not, then please go and first watch that video and then again come back to this video 
because all the things which I am telling today are the summary of all the three lectures, previous three lectures which I had already told. So basically in number one and number two, we are doing that int input int the first number and in the second number. We are asking the user to input the first number and input the second number. After that, what are we doing here? We are using the conditions if, elif and else. So I had already told that uh, in Python we don't use if else. Uh, if you want to use many times if else, if else and basically in C we used if, then else if, then again else if. So uh, in Python we use if, then elif. In place of else if we use elif. So here we have that if choice is equal equal to 1. So what our choice variable contains? It contains the operations that it will ask the user that what operation you want to perform and after that if operation is equal equal to 1. So check that in the 1 we have given addition. So operation 1 is addition so it is printing that print number 1 plus number 2 is equal to and here what we are doing is that just a second excuse me so here what we are doing is that uh, we are just calling the function addition and in the brackets we are giving the uh, number as number one comma number two now check it in the upper side that what we have done here we have given a number num one and num two and what we are doing here is that we are passing here number one and number two so why we are doing this so because we are asking the user to input two numbers, number one and number two. So we want that user should enter that number and after that, whatever the choice and whatever the operation is selected by the user, it would get the desired output. So I hope that this line is clear to you that what does this line means. Let me recap it. That print number one plus number two is equal to we are calling the function addition and number one comma number two. After that, we have used elif choice is equal equal to then the same for subtraction. The only difference is that the sign is changed from plus to minus. And I had already told about the operators in my uh, previous video and the link for the same is mentioned in the description. Do check it out if you have not seen it. After then again, we are using elif because we need to give four conditions because we have four conditions, four operations here. So it is elif choice is equal equal to 3 print num1 multiplication num2 and we are calling the multiplication function here and same for the division that if choice equal equal to 4 then uh, divide and we are calling the function division number 1 comma number 2. Now in the last you check that we have given is print please enter the correct choice. So what does this mean that if the user has not entered the choices among these 1, 2, 3 and 4. So it will print that please enter the correct choice. So I hope this is clear to you that um, how we are going to what I had written in this program and some of you by the time you some of you have guessed that what would be the output for this and how would this program run. So let me take a uh, recap for this and then we'll move to, to the output that uh, what output we are getting. So here we have defined a function is addition and pass two values num1 comma num2 and after that we have written num1 plus num2. Same for subtraction, multiplication, division. Then next we have used print please select operation and we have entered four operations here 1, 2, 3, 4 addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Then we have taken a variable as choice and we are just asking the user to input the operation that which operation he wants uh, the user wants to perform after that we have taken two value uh, two variables number one, number one and number two and basically what they are doing they are taking the input from the user of the numbers then we used if and elif conditions to satisfy and apply the uh, operations that if choice is equal equal to one print number one plus number two and we have called the function addition number one comma number two. You can write this in a single line only but I have written this in um, different lines because maybe it would create a problem uh, when 
you will see it so basically i had written in other lines but you can uh, write it in a single line only like these commas will separate the values after that choice is equal equal to three choice is equal equal four and then what we have used is we have used else please enter the correct choice now let's run our program and for running shift plus enter so what do we see please select operation addition subtraction multiplication or division so what is the user asking select operations from 1 2 3 and 4 so let's uh, check i had enter the operation 1 now what it is asking to enter the first number now for first number let's enter 2 then it is asking to enter the second number So for second, let's enter four, and yes, we get that. Just a second, we get that two plus four is equal to six here. Enter first number, enter second number, and four, and two plus four is equal to six. So basically, now you must have uh, got a glimpse at how does this our program run and why and how we have written this program. So. Uh, this is all for this video let's meet in the next video and uh, with us some with some projects in the next video so this was a recap for all the three lectures which we which i had already uploaded on my channel and if you have not gone through that just go and check them out and then again come back to this calculator program so this is all for this video thank you and bye bye